Hey, Beavis. Hey, buddy. Look. No, no, no. There we go. Say hello to the camera. Look. It's you. Yes. I love you. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. Well, he can't go nowhere. I'm in this uh, recliner chair. My little buddy. You're so precious to me. You guys give me all kinds of surprises and make me happy. They do. Guinea pigs can for sure sense when how we're feeling. I know I asked the question in other videos, but these guys have kind of proven to me time and again, like I know that they can't understand us, but I did one video where I talked about how quiet you guys are. How you two don't really weak. Hmm? And then the very next video, your brother Butthead started weaking. And then after that, I did a video where I told everybody that you guys always move your logs, but you never do it when I'm watching. It was a secret y'all were keeping from me. But then in the very next video, you guys revealed your secret. And also... Well, let me put your brother up here. Hmm? Yes, you're cute too. Hmm? hmm. Yeah. Hmm, baby. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Look, buddy. Now, I was telling everybody how you guys really can sense how we feel. You see, when I was doing that video, and I was holding butthead here, and the minute I mentioned depression, and whether or not pigs could sense it, he gave me a little piggy lick. Yes, he did. You licked my little finger. He said, well, that was for the other video. I'm not doing that for this one, too. Weak, weak. <laughs> That's okay, butthead. Your cuteness is still enough. Hmm? Just look at you. You know, there are a lot of people that I see rehoming their pigs because they get um, impatient thinking that their guinea pigs don't love them. They don't get that, you know, it takes time with guinea pigs. It's not like a cat or a dog. I think that there's a lot of guinea pig owners that come into this. I know I was kind of, oh, he licked me. <laughs> You're so sweet. But I too came into this thinking my pigs didn't love me or that I was a bad owner. And guinea pig police didn't help with that. But now I've run into other people who are where I once was. They're getting upset because they're thinking that they're trying. They put a, built a C&C cage. They're, you know, ivermectin paste, giving the whole nine yards. And they're guinea pigs. I said, well, she only had them a few months. And it might take up to six months or more. But I say, you got to follow Soski's video where you do the five... Um, day challenge where you, you hope don't let them go right away and that's what I did and I've gotten these guys a lot more used to me now and they're they're not afraid of me anymore even though Butthead doesn't really like to be picked up and that once I pick him up he licks me <laughs> yes you do but yeah you gotta be patient with it I think people are expecting instant gratification with guinea pigs what I have found is You've got to be patient, and you've got to earn their trust. Hmm? Yeah. But it's so rewarding once you do. They can only repay you in guinea pig love, but it's awesome, some of the things that they'll do for you. Hmm. I love you. Hmm. Anyway. Ah. Uh.